What makes a modern Christmas classic? Some might say the catchy melody, the lyrics, the production, and the overall vibe, while others would say memorability, longevity, and cultural relevance. A true modern Christmas classic is a song that's well known amongst many different generations and is able to stand the test of time. These songs get massive airplay during the holiday season, so much so where it can get annoying and a bit overkill at times. I used to work at a theme park and the Christmas music would just play over and over all day long Long on repeat. Anybody who's worked in retail knows how annoying these songs can get. I do enjoy most of these songs, but they can get really annoying after just a few listens. Perhaps the most popular Christmas classic would have to be Mariah Carey's smash hit, All I Want For Christmas Is You. When you think of Christmas, you think of Mariah Carey as she's become synonymous with the holiday season. So much so that many people have given her the unofficial title of being the Queen of Christmas. There's even these memes that float around every year saying that she's thawing just in time for the holiday Holidays, and she even joins in on the fun. She's just the gift that keeps giving. Not only was she able to secure this title, but the song would end up being one of the highest selling singles of all time. The song is so popular that it has returned to the number one spot on the charts every year since 2019, which is just crazy. That just shows how popular the song is around Christmas time. So why is she considered the queen of Christmas? To see why she was given that title in the first place, we have to go all the way back to the year 1994. So by 1994, Mariah Carey had quickly become a global sensation thanks to her six octave vocal range and her unique style of singing. Her first three albums were all very successful, selling millions of copies worldwide, spawning several number one hits including Vision of Love, Dream Lover, Emotions, Hero, and many more. She even won the Best New Artist Award at the Grammys in 1991. And this was the year after that whole Millie Vanilli situation. I might have to make a whole video on that one of these days. Mariah was on top of the world at this time as you could couldn't escape hearing her music or seeing her face somewhere. After the success of her first couple albums, her label actually wanted her to release a Christmas album. I basically just did a, a Christmas album that I, you know, would want to listen to year after year, you know, because I'm always looking for really good Christmas albums at Christmas time, and it's usually like one song from this album, one song from that. It's, it's rare to find one that you really like listening to the whole thing. So, um, you know, I tried to do that on this album, you know, do something that would stand the test of time, but, you know. It was rare for artists to release holiday music so early in their career, especially back in the 90s. But the heads at Columbia saw things differently, I guess, aka they wanted more money. On November 4th, 1994, Mariah would go on to release her fourth studio album, Merry Christmas, which became another massive success for her. It was one of the highest selling albums of that year and quickly became the highest selling holiday slash Christmas album of all time, selling 15 million copies worldwide. The album incorporates different genres, including dance, pop and gospel. Some of the songs on the album were covers like Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which was actually from Jackson 5, and Oh Holy Night, while others were originals. Speaking of originals, the most popular song that everyone knows is her infamous All I Want For Christmas Is You. I was up at the farm upstate where we did the video and um, it was nighttime and I was just walking around and I got the idea for the song because it was kind of like a very, you know, the song is a very retro kind of cute little Christmas ditty. And it was just, I don't know where it came from. Sometimes things just come to me like that. Um, sometimes I'll think about, I want to write a song like this or like that. But that melody just came into my head, the, the verse melody. And then um, I was walking around and I just went in and I had a little keyboard set up there. And I just kind of finished the lyrics and the melody just came pretty quickly and then when I you know when I was finishing it I, I would walk downstairs and look at all the Christmas type things and say okay what reminds me of Christmas I need more Christmas words here I need more uh references, Christmas references. All I Want For Christmas Is You was a Mariah original written and produced by herself and her co-writer Walter. I don't know how to say his last name, but his name is Walter. This is her most successful single in her career and it's one of the highest selling singles of all time. Many people see it as a holiday tradition and standard, while others find it irritating as it surges in popularity every holiday season. As annoying and overplayed as the song is, I actually really enjoy it. All I Want For Christmas is a classic holiday song that just gives 
gets me in such a good mood every time I hear it. The song is upbeat, bubbly, joyful, catchy, and just a lot of fun. Everything from Mariah's angelic voice to the harmonies to the chimes and even the intro are just so great. Like honestly, I think this has to be one of the most iconic song intros of all time. The song being so upbeat and fun makes it stand out from other Christmas songs over the years. I never noticed this until recently when re-listening to a lot of holiday songs that many of them are actually really depressing and slow paced. I think the song being so upbeat and joyful played a major factor into its overall appeal and marketability. I think that's why so many people like the song so much because it's just so dancey and upbeat. Lyrically, the song describes a lover who doesn't care about having material things but having their significant other as a Christmas gift instead. I know the song is pretty cheesy but simple and effective and to the point. Mariah says the song that the song is very, is very traditional, kind of old fashioned Christmas. It's Christmas very retro, theme. kind of 60s. And These are her words, not mine. Since the song's release, the song has gone on to be covered by hundreds of artists used in multiple commercials, movies, and TV shows. The song has also gotten massive streaming numbers and has gotten an insane amount of radio airplay. And when I say an insane amount, I mean an insane amount. They literally play this song like every other five songs on the radio around this time of the year. In December 2019, All I Want For Christmas Is You finally topped the Billboard Hot 100 charts, which was just perfect timing as it celebrated 25 years since its initial release. And the song has continued to top the charts every holiday season since 2019 because, you know, it's Mariah Carey. This was Mariah Carey's 19th number one single on the charts, making her the solo artist with the most number ones right behind the Beatles who have 20. Let's just hope that Drake and Taylor Swift don't beat her record anytime soon. All in all, I do love All I Want For Christmas Is You and I find the song super catchy, fun, bubbly, sentimental, and joyful despite it being overkill around this time of the year. It just has this jolly, nostalgic, warm, wholesome feel to it, making it one of the best Christmas songs ever written. I just wish some of the other songs from the album got more attention, like maybe her rendition of Oh Holy Night, or maybe even Miss You Most at Christmas Time. Those songs slap. Even though the song came out nearly 30 years ago, it still sounds so fresh and modern. Mariah Carey will always be the standard when it comes to holiday music. She was able to make a hit record that stands the test of time and be able to have major crossover appeal. And that's why I believe that she is the ultimate queen of Christmas. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you all. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more fun videos just like this. Also, check out my other fun videos. They should be here on the screen somewhere. So yeah, please check those out and I will see y'all in the next video. See ya!